So I just want to tell you, tithing is my favorite part of church. It really is. It has not always been that way. It was a process for me to get to that point. And I, Kara, Pastor Kara and Pastor Ben have walked through the process with me. And I just want to share with you, I used to tithe out of fear. It was fear of if I don't tithe, something's going to happen. If I don't tithe, my car is going to break. We're going to lose our house. This bad stuff is going to happen, right? But then I started thinking about who God is. And if God is our dad, and the word says God is our dad, then as a parent, I don't want my kids to do something because they're terrified of me. I want them to do it because it's a heart issue, because out of love and honor and respect for me. So then I started talking to God. Okay, God, you're going to have to walk through this process with me. I don't, like, I don't even want to tithe anymore because it's scary, and I don't want to lose something, but I know that that's not your heart. So, um, you know, I became a single mom, and I started my own business, and right then I said, okay, God, you're going to be the CEO of my business. That's just what it is. My business is dedicated to you. You're going to use my story, and you're going to, your glory is going to shine through it. So he walked through the whole process, and if I would get $50, it was okay. I want to honor you. I'm going to tithe five, and then I have 40 left. And then it was $100. Okay, I'm going to tie 10. And I did it so joyfully because what that $5 meant is that I made $50 that week. What that $100 meant, or that $10, is that I made $100. And I was very faithful with, I mean, $10. It's not very much, but it is a Starbucks, and I love Starbucks, and so that was a sacrifice for me. And so it was, okay, I'm going to just be faithful, and I'm going to honor you. And then, um, so that was like a year and a half process. It was not an, an overnight process. I did not love tithing overnight. Um, but God was willing to get dirty with me, and he was willing to go through the process with me. So on Monday, I hadn't been to church for a couple weeks, and... Um, I've been selling stuff because we're moving. So I had an envelope of all the money that I'd make that I'd made. I was like, 10%. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in the envelope. And I walked up to Ben, Pastor Ben, and I said, here's my tithe. <laughs> but what you don't know is that that day I paid all of my bills and I only had a little bit left in the bank account. I didn't have a lot. And it was, okay, I have to go on a work trip. This is what was going on like in the natural. I had to go on a work trip. I didn't have money for groceries. I had this amount of money and it was fear. And that's what, that's what the enemy does is he puts fear in the natural in us. And so I said, okay, God, I know that you're faithful. I know that you're my dad. I know that you're my supplier. I know that you're gonna take care of my needs because you have every step of the way. So I just <laughs> faithful. I'm going to give this money to, to the church because what you can do with it is more than I could ever do with it. So then that night I got paid, and it was more than I thought I was going to get. And then two days later, I got paid again, and it was like double what I was supposed to get. And I just want to encourage you, if you're not a tither, just talk to God and ask God. I hate using the word test. I don't like that word. I think it's not a good word because I don't like when my kids test me. I don't like when they say, stand on the line and say, what are you going to do about it, mom? So I don't encourage you to test God. Although the Bible, like in some translations, says test me in this. I don't like that. So just ask him, God, this is what you say. You're my dad. I want to honor you. So show me how to honor you in this, in my finances, because there is... He can do more with that 10% in your life by you honoring him and giving joyfully than you could ever do with it. I mean, he could turn $10 into $100. So what could you do? Buy a Starbucks? Like, come on. So I just want to leave you with this. Um, I've just been soaking in Psalm 119. It says, you're blessed when you stay on course, walking steadily on the road revealed by God. You're blessed when you follow his direction, doing your best to find him. You, God, prescribe the right way to live. 
Now you expect us to live it. Oh, that my steps might be steady, keeping the course you set. And then I skip some, and it says, I'm going to do what you tell me to do. Don't ever walk off and leave me. Um, be generous with me, and I'll live a full life. Not for a minute will I take my eyes off of your road. Open my eyes so that I can see what you show me of your miracle wonders. So just like we want our kids to obey us out of a heart issue, God wants us to honor him and obey us from the heart, or obey him from the heart and not out of fear, um, fear of lack, because God's bigger than anything. So I just want to encourage you, if he can do this in this single mom fearful life, he can do it in your life. Um, Oh my gosh, it's all God. Um, So I just want to encourage you, tithe if you're not a tither. If you're a tither, good for you. And continue to bless the church and continue to do it out of your heart and not out of fear. And so that's my little tidbit of my story. Thank you so much. That's so powerful.